Hi everyone, this is Sultan with Dalton Funnels and in this video I'll show you how you can create a sales funnel for a course product uh, that you've linked to a Learn Dash course uh, using WP Funnel. Alright, so let's begin. So as you can see, I'm on my dashboard and I already have a few courses in Learn Dash. And I also created a couple of products. Let me just show them to you. So if I go to my products, uh, I have two course products. Uh, let me just show that. Uh, Let's go to product type and course and filter it out. And you can see I have two products that are course type products. Now remember, there are certain things you need to make sure. First of all, uh, you need to make sure that for if you're selling courses, you cannot allow guest login because at that time, uh, the courses enrollment will not work, right? So let me show you where you go to e-commerce and settings. And here you can go to accounts and privacy and there make sure this is unchecked allow customers to place orders and you can also enable this one allow customers to create an account during checkout because they need to have an account if they are going to get enrolled into your courses second when you create the courses in learn dash make sure to make them as closed courses all right because any other course types are not supported in woocommerce all right and uh, just a reminder you must have the woocommerce add-on for learn dash for you to be able to link Learn Dash courses to commerce products, okay? So now, when you create a product, okay, let me just edit this and show you. If you go to the product data section, here, this should be a course type, okay? You can see that I have changed it into a course type, and here, you need to assign the course uh, you want the person to get enrolled to when they purchase this product okay so once this is ready let me go to dashboard i'm now going to create a sales funnel where i'll involve those two courses okay let me go to wp funnels and click on funnels and i'm just gonna click on add new funnel and this will give me options to import templates all right so uh now i'm just gonna import uh, any one of these templates so let's say i'm just gonna import uh let's say the ebook pro i'll just click on import and what this will do is this will take me to a canvas with all the steps already created but if you want you can create one from scratch as well as that that time you can customize the whole thing right from the beginning all right there you go so once you import you'll be brought into the canvas all right let me just rearrange the steps there you go you can see this is so easy uh, if you click on save and there you go now in this funnel i just want to use four steps i'll just remove the condition and i'll remove the down cell okay so what i'm going to do in this funnel is i'm going to make an initial offer and then i'm going to offer him another course as an upsell all right so let me just first configure this initially you need to assign the product with which you want to make the first course offer so i'll just go to the settings drawer and here i'll search for my course product i have two of them i'm just going to choose the first one and add it and you can see the price is here so i'll just save this uh, and then i'm just going to go to upsell and here i'm just going to assign my second course product which is this one now i'm just going to click on add product and that's it so now this funnel is ready the next thing to do is to design the pages and use the widgets appropriately since i've imported a template all that is already done let me just edit the landing page and there you go uh, now remember in this landing page we have our widget which is this button which is the next step button so if you want someone to click on a button and go to the checkout step from the landing in that case you have to use our widget which you can find in the widget area at the very bottom called the next step button so instead of all other buttons, you just use this one. You don't need to manually place a link to the next step. Okay. Now, once you're happy with the landing page, go to the canvas, then edit the checkout step. So once you edit this, again, it's opening in Elementor. That's because I chose Elementor as my preferred page builder. If you use DV or Gutenberg or Oxygen, choose that in the settings of WP Funnels. Or if you use some other page builder, just edit the page with them and use shortcuts for the uh, appropriate widgets so now here you can see this is the checkout step all right and here you can see a preview of the checkout form you can customize all of this uh, this basically is the widget this form okay on the left side you can see of this option to customize the style of every section 
and uh, all, all of the informations. You can also choose from one column to two column if you want to. Uh, and here, this is where you find this widget in the widget area on the left side at the very bottom, you have this widget, all right? So in case uh, you remove this one, you want to include it again, you just come here, drag and drop this one, it's gonna come up, all right? So in this widget, uh, this is where people are gonna process their payments, okay? So once you're happy with the design of the checkout step, you can go back to the canvas. Now, simply edit the upsell page. And there you go. So now on the upsell page, uh, you can see uh, this is all predefined. You can just change the text and design. Now, these buttons are our widgets, all right? So this is called the upsell or downsell widget. Uh, using this, you can make someone accept the offer or reject the offer. The specialty of this is once someone has paid in the checkout, now once they click on this, they don't need to input their information once again. We'll just go for processing the payment right away, all right? So this one click upsell, all right? So this is the upsell. Once you place this, uh, make sure this is in the accept mode for select button action. Uh, you can see I've placed the same widget just below it, but here I have chose as reject. So the difference is for accept, it's gonna add it to the order and process the payment. For reject, it's not gonna accept it and move to the next step, okay? So in this case, in the upsell, if someone doesn't even accept this, you've already uh, charged your user in the checkout, all right? So this does not make any change unless you use the replace order option. That's a different case, all right? So once you have used this widget, uh, if you want to add this uh, on your own, you can just find it in the widget area at the very bottom. This is called offer button widget, all right? So uh, once this is ready, you're happy with this page, again, go back to the canvas. In the thank you page, there is one widget as well to show a preview of the order they have made or the summary, uh, to show a summary of the order they have made, which is this one. This is the order details widget, which you will again find in the widget area at the very bottom. So you can see I have specific widgets for each. So you can see we have specific widgets for specific steps, all right? So now let me go back to the canvas. This is quite ready. And I can just preview this and show you how the funnel process work. Now here I'm on the landing page. Let me click on get the book. It's gonna take me to the next step. Now here I've assigned this course product, remember? So I'll just uh, choose this one. I'm just gonna use one of uh, my Stripe Sandbox account and I'll just place order. It's gonna take me to the next step. There you go, it's taking me to the upsell. So here I can accept the offer or reject it. I'll just accept the offer and it's gonna add this to the order, process the payment, and then take me to the next step. You can see I didn't have to input credit card information again. Uh, and here is the summary of what I've accepted, all right? And for these courses, I've now been enrolled to those courses. Let me just show you. If I go to Learn Dash and go to Courses, all right? So these two are the courses that I've assigned. Now the user account I have now is WP Funnels and I did not enable, you know, allow admins to be enrolled in all courses. So which means admin, as an admin, I'm still not enrolled to the courses. I just purchased the product. So let me just uh, edit this course and I'll show you at the settings that I have been enrolled. So I'll just go to settings. I'll go to the very bottom and you can see it has enrolled me into this course, okay? So once you purchase the product, uh, thanks to the Learn Dash uh, WooCommerce widget, it, they get enrolled right away, all right? So that's it. That's how easy it is to create a sales funnel for course products uh, that is linked to your Learn Dash courses uh, in WP Funnels. So you don't need to do any extra work. You don't need to place manual links and buttons and all that. You just set up the products normally as you do and use the canvas where you can just define the steps use your widgets and launch the funnel. That's how easy it is, all right? So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in one of my future videos. Take care.